Okay, this late afternoon, I'm going to uh, explore some of the stuff that you can control on the sledge. I'll set it back to an init patch. I'll play it from its keyboard for a second, which is an eight foot sawtooth. Now I'll go back over here to the Blofeld, go to oscillator one, let's adjust the footages. Well, you can only go to 64 foot on the sledge but you can actually send it 128. You can only go to one foot on the sledge from the front, but I can send it half foot. Okay, let's go back to eight foot. I can send a triangle wave, square wave, even the Alt-1 with pulse width. Now if you go to Alt-2, it hits the first sample and all the rest of the samples. And that's my uh, Mellotron sample um, at 22 whatever K. Now we'll go back to uh, Sawtooth. Let's go to the square actually. You can adjust the pulse width. Uh, we'll skip over the filter for now. Um, we'll go to the envelopes. I can set the release. Let's go set a, actually set a filter. It should be on low pass 24 dB. That was just sent to the sledge. Now that's one of the built-in it has, so I can adjust the key tracking as well. And the envelope amount. Go to the filter envelope. Adjust the ADSR. That's all accessible. Now getting back to the filter. Add some resonance. That's sent as well. As you can hear. I can also send it low pass 12 dB or band pass 24 dB or band pass 12 dB. Um, high pass, both 24 and 12. And the notches, what I find those pretty useless. I really don't use those. But you can send it the PPG. Let's get that this thing screaming. Just the attack, just the K. That's pretty cool that you can send those filter modes to it. Um, you can, oh yes, the comb filter. It's pretty out of control, but it can be adjusted. That's all sent. Let's go back to a more normal. Um, that's going to feed back if I set it like that. Let's set it to uh, low resonance. Just a regular 24 um, decibel low pass. Now I'm going to go turn off the oscillator for now and turn on the noise. White or pink, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to have to open up the filter. Okay, I'm going to go to the oscillator um, main page and find noise and adjust the color. That's accessible as well.
Send it to the comb filter. Anyhow, that gives you an idea of what you can control externally, the hidden features of the Studio Logic Sledge. Have a good evening.